Welcome to In-Depth. Getting a great book from the hardcover, or Kindle if you will, onto the big screen, it is no easy task and can be downright challenging. Invitation to Valhalla is the book by Evansville author Mike Wicker. That's the book right here that introduced us to an incredible slice of history. Erica Lehman is the top spy for the Nazis in a most dangerous time in world history. Her story spawned several sequels penned by Wicker and could make it could make it to a theater near you in the future. And I'm joined tonight by Aaron Guzzo, who grew up right here in Evansville, now living in Los Angeles, living the dream. He has written the screenplay, he has finished it, and Aaron, I tell you, you're right in the middle of what could become something really big. That's the idea. That's what we're going for. As soon as I read it, I knew. And you majored in screenwriting at Columbia College Chicago, and well, what hooked you on uh, film and writing? Uh, I would go back to in high school, and I guess it's a fanboy answer of, of reading Stephen King, and uh, suddenly I'm not in Evansville, I'm not on Earth, I'm, I'm in the middle of this story, and the thought you can be terrified and moved to tears and laughing all, and, you know, hey, that, that's powerful stuff, and I wanted to play in that sandbox, and um, of course, some of the best movies came from novels, um, and some of the worst, but the, uh, uh, a lot of my favorites. And so from that, uh, here we are, and I, I, I started looking for novels that I thought would be good for screen, and this, this is a, a top one right here. And you initially got the option on Invitation to Valhalla as several years ago, and tell me about that. That did not work out, though, right? I was doing, going at it alone. And really, not just with Hollywood, but really any major thing, you, you, you need support. You need people there for you who, are, who can do what you can't. And I didn't have that. And I mean, if I were to just go bash my head on that wall for a bit, I would be doing more than I accomplished that, that first time because I was alone. And, and, the, and the time since, um, we've really put together a great team of people who uh, do everything I can't and are... are um, a good eye for my writing and, and don't let anything slide and they're, they're at my side for all of this and you love this book and book. and, and uh, you thought this would just be great on the screen uh, what was the what appeals to you with invitation to Valhalla why do you think this will make a great movie it is first of all timely in that I like the idea of it's never too like to never too late to do the right thing I like that I really, on the surface, it's not a sympathetic uh, protagonist. We're following a Nazi spy who sees the light and realizes she's on the wrong side of history. I like that a lot. And on a surface level, hey, it has all the ingredients of a good, wholesome movie, sex and violence. And that, um, that also is, uh, a, on a surface level, something that will, will sell, but I would also say... The deeper part of it is Erica Lehman as a character, and as a person. She uh, drives this story, and she is fascinating in everything that she does. And this book has about 470, 475 pages, but the screenplay, how do you get that book, that story, the essence of what Mike Wicker was going after with this, all of the years of research he did on this, how do you get that into a microcosm that's called a screenplay? For me, what I did after I read this novel is walked away from it for a bit, didn't overthink it, and at the end of that, wrote down, what do I remember? Didn't open the book. What do I remember? What are the impressions that I remember? Because that's the most powerful stuff. If I can remember it without flipping to what page it is, then that is, is a, a moment that works. And from that, um, tried to write it and under the guise of, if I like it, if it excites me, if it interests me, if it moves me, it will move others. And, and you obviously liked Mike Wicker's storytelling, but he's read the screenplay. What, what do you think? You just finished it up in September, you tell me. What did, what did Mike think about this? Well, I tried as much as I could to follow his book and not add anything, not detract, uh, only, only cut what had to be cut and not do a new spin on it that nobody asked for, but tell this story. This is the story that has a following, that has a fan base, that, that people are excited about. 
And by doing that, I think uh, Mike, I hope, uh, en enjoys what he's seeing because it's it is it's his creation still. And, and you, you've done screenplays in the last several years. You've had success. You wrote a musical for heaven's sake, uh, and it, from what I understand, you did pretty well in Hollywood. Yeah, well, launched Briefly, this summer. Can... Yeah, in July at Barnsdall Theater, uh, Tesla the musical. Uh, I composed the music. I have a writing partner and several of my other partner, uh, several of my other projects who did the lyrics, and that was. Uh, did far, far better than I think we ever anticipated. And Valhalla, back to that. Yes. You, would you like to see some of that filmed right here in Evansville? That, that would be, well, first of all, I, I don't have that say, but man, I will be pushing for that. Uh, I really think, we, as, as you know, we're sitting on a lot of history right here. And, and the site, a lot of the sites in this novel are still standing. They're still here. The, um, for example, like the bridge, the, the final battle without spoiling too much on the bridge. Hey, I mean, there's two of them now, but I would love to have as much possible filmed here, but we'll I'll see. be keeping my fingers crossed. We'll and see. by the way, uh, if you, if they need an extra on the film to just one of those people in the I'll background, can, yeah. you, can you help me out on we'll that? We'll see, we'll see maybe, what we can do. Maybe a newsman holding a microphone, you know, okay. something like that. I think you could do that. Okay. Well, I appreciate <laughs> it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Aaron Gozo, thank you so much. Best to you, best uh, of luck thank to you. you on this screenplay. It looks like you're on to something here, and uh, keep us posted, all right? Hey, it's a great novel, so it'll speak for itself. All right.